Hi guys, uh, so basically I model a housing for the uh, OLED display. Uh, again, uh, these files will be available in my ThinkGivers account as well as a source file for the Design Spark Mechanical uh, software. So uh, it's a very easy uh, housing whereby you can just slot the OLED display in as such and then you can house it. So we'll see how we can install it into this uh, Rapid Strike. Uh, basically, it's meant for the uh, Rapid Strike. Okay. So basically it's very easy, just remove the shelf. So we are removing the the, uh, the part, the sling mount I guess, for the rapid strike. So uh, all you need to do is to place it in, like this. And then this uh, all the display you can just slot it in. Okay, you might need to uh, adjust it a little bit, so that it fit in, as such. Okay, once you fit in, of course you can uh, do all the uh, arrange, arrangement okay and then of course uh, you can put the, the other side okay, and then you can just close the uh, shell up as such so it will be housed in this manner so it will be sort of flush at the back of the uh, rapid strike so just to test the OLED display, uh, I just test it with my uh, old program whereby I work for the, uh, for the um, select fire strife. Uh, you can see there is a uh, flickering because of the lighting that I use, so it's not very conducive for filming uh, OLED display. Maybe I off the uh, lighting, you can get a better look. Yeah, so this is the uh, OLED display housing for the uh, rapid strike. Uh, basically, I'm going to use it for my build for the rapid strike. Yeah, so a few more things to model, and uh, hopefully by then uh, I can start to do my programming. Um, basically, just to improve my previous previous two version of a uh, select fire mod. Uh, by the way, I'll be going overseas uh, for a job assignment until the end of March so I guess uh, it will be till the end of March that I'm going to pick up boarding again so uh, thanks for watching I'm Tungsten okay so you print the uh, item this way right then uh, you only need support for over here and here so I try to design it such that it, it require minimum support while printing so once you're done you just need to remove this this two, these are the original support and then uh, you know, do a very minor clean up okay and uh, it should be uh, ready for usage Yeah. yeah, so it should be ready for usage after this minor cleanup. Yeah.